Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have Eight of Swords. We have the world, Libra energy. We have the Eight of Cups. Somebody, I'm telling you, this has been heavy in the collective energy. Like somebody is stressed. Somebody feels like there's nothing that they can do to keep you from walking away from them. Like they feel like they're in a rock and a hard place. Or like they just feel like they're in a, like they feel like you're ending things with them and you're walking away from them and they maybe feel like there's nothing that they can do. Like you see how in this picture, this girl's just like looking at, like they're looking at, like this person's looking at you from like something that they feel stuck in. Hmm. Tell me more. We have the fool. Yeah. You guys can be taking a leap of faith. Like some of you guys are ready for new love or some of you guys are just taking a leap of faith and walking away from this situation. Even if you do feel like you're, they're your twin flame. Clarify the eight of swords. So... See, I feel like this person's either in spiritual jail, <laughs> they could be in real jail, two, two, three, four on the camera. This person, you, you and this person need to be in separation. It's almost like the divine is not going to let them be with you or the two of you come into union until they learn some type of lesson here, or maybe they have some type of karma that they have to repay back. Let's see, or pay back. Clarify the world. We have ghosting. Yeah, elusive. So this person may even feel like you're acting like you don't care that it, things are ending between the two of you or this person may feel like you've ghosted them or even if you like they may they may feel like things are over. For some of you, it's like you're closing out like a cycle with this person. Like you, you may not be done done with them, but there's a certain cycle that you and this person have been going through that. I don't know. Let's see. Play for the eight of cups. The five of wands. Mm, somebody's fighting what's this fighting about clarify the clarify the fool the tower mm. okay what is this about what is the eight of cups and the five of wands the divinely guided card so some of you guys have there's been a lot of conflict somebody's been very con conflicted about whether or not they want to walk away from something here but spirit is saying that you're being divinely guided to do so or do, do so they're saying that this connection is protected so it's okay to walk away from this person if you feel like they're not ready or they have more lessons to learn they need to go through some more growth clarify the fool in the tower the lovers gemini energy the fool in the tower and the sun some, somebody's awakening to this connection or they're about to. And it's why is that? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is awakening to the, as you're possibly leaving something behind here or, leave, you know, rejecting somebody here. Somebody is realizing, some of you guys can be earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's realizing that they want to put the work into cultivating some type of like happy union and family with you. Like somebody, or maybe spirit is saying that you taking this leap of faith and walking away from this person, not really knowing what's going to happen once you walk away from this person. Not knowing if you're knowing if you're, you know, y'all are going to be able to work things out in the future, or if you're going to find new love. It's actually causing a tower moment, and it, which the tower can also be an awakening, right? It's going to trigger this person to awaken to something here. Like, it's also going to like lead you to a lot of like abundance and stability if you don't already or like an increase in your abundance and stability but yeah somebody is about to awaken to this connection yeah if they haven't already they could already be in the process of awakening but tell me more what is the tower scorpio energy the, the queen of pentacles keeps coming out so like you're the, I, I feel like you guys could be this queen of pentacles you're the tower. Clarify the queen of pentacles. Or you guys are about to have, see, dark night of the soul. Emptiness. Yeah, you disconnecting from this person is going to, let's see, dark night of the soul, dark night of the soul. Queen of wands. Ooh, what is this about? What about the queen of wands? The king of cups. What does this have to do with my collective? Waiting. And the page of swords. divine timing it's making this person want you more they're gonna start going through some like doing a, going through a period of like introspection and it's like it's making the queen of wands it's like they're it's making them want you more 
This person's curious. I don't know. What is this? What is significant for my collective to know? What is significant for my collective to know about this? See internal conflict. Remain in the darkness or embrace the light. What about internal conflict about what? It's time. Divine intervention. See, spirit is almost saying like somebody has been stuck in indecision here. And it's like the divine is maybe in intervening to to force somebody to make. It's like they're making a decision for either you or for this person or just when it comes to this connection. What about it's time? It's time for. See, spirit says this person. The divine is like. The collective has waited long enough. Like you, you've waited a long time. You've been putting your life on hold for this person to some degree. And the divine is like, no, <laughs> like it's been too long. We were given this person the opportunity to make this choice on their own, to embrace the light, to leave this darkness that they've been in. But they, it's like they haven't been doing it. So the divine is, yeah. They've been more, they've been more focused on material. Something is like going on with this person's finances or something. This person has been choosing money over true love. Like they've been choosing to stay in a situation because of money or something like that. Yeah. And spirit's like, no, and while they've been trying to figure out what they really want to do in regards to you and spirit's like, no, we've given you, you know, the collective's given you enough time. We've given you enough time. Yeah. See freedom and independence, love without commitment. What about the nine of pentacles? The Knight of Swords. I see some of you. What about the Hermit, though? What about the Hermit? Okay, hold on. What about the Hermit? Hermit. Virgo energy. Date. The Hermit and Date in the Hierophant. The Devil. What is this? Hold on. So what does the Nine of Pentacles have to do with my collective? The Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Somebody being at a crossroads and things things suddenly suddenly changing because why? The sun and the ten of cups. I don't know. It's like somebody has been in this indecisive energy where they don't know like what they want. And then all of a sudden, they're gonna want to cultivate this family with you or something like that hold on <laughs> yeah the ace of wands all of a sudden this person's gonna have all this drive and passion to be a family and what why though is it why what is it you walking away yeah because they were indecisive what is making them make it's like the what is the divine doing Ripped apart, vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth that what? King of Pentacles. See, now we have the King of Pentacles out here. Queen and King of Pentacles here. Knight of Wands. The Queen of Cups. This person, the Six of Swords. This person feels like if they have another person that they were trying to choose between you and this other person or whatever, they feel like whoever this person is. They're, they have, they feel like they live a very unstable life with that person. If it's not that, they feel like your love, because we do have love exposed the truth. They feel like encountering you and the love that you gave to them has made them want to stop being a player. You know what I mean? Like this person feels like they don't want to be a player anymore. They feel like with you, they, they want to actually be loyal to you and take you seriously and things like that. But what's changed? What is this rapid change? This eight of wands energy, the seven of cups and the four of wands. I don't understand it. It's like somebody was confused about whether or not they wanted to settle down. And now they're like reevaluating things. Why? Why are they reevaluating re things? Because they're in regret. Why are they in regret? They regret taking too long to choose you. I'm telling you, the Knight of Pentacles, they thought that they had time. They thought you would be patient. You were patient with them. You were overly patient with this person. Now this person feels like they've run out of time. They regret dragging their feet here. So now what's going to happen? What's happening now, Spirit? The Ten of Pentacles. What about the Ten of Pentacles? The Page of Swords. 
And what a catch. Mm. They could be talking to somebody about how they want to be a, marry you or settle down with you. Or they have a fear. This person wants to know if they've lost you. They want to know if this is still a possibility for the two of you. The Ten of Pentacles. Like if you guys can still cultivate this long-term relationship. Wanting to. Okay, tell me more. The moon. Yeah, they're scared. They're fearful. Oh, see. What about this karmic partner? King of Swords. So they're realizing that this person is. A karmic partner they're seeing what is right they're seeing the truth yeah that they're seeing that they need to stay away from this person yeah they're seeing that this person is a blockage or something like that yeah what about emperor, emperor the six of cups and wishing okay yeah it's like they feel like they need to leave the past in the past they gotta stop yeah some of them have just been staying with somebody or dealing with a person because there's history there and it's, you know, it's comfortable and it's familiar. But yeah, this person's realizing that they need to um, cut somebody off because it literally says cutting tar karmic ties here. Yeah. So give me a few more. Anything else that they need to know? Was that the hermit again? Yeah, the hermit. They're doing a lot of... It, it's like once you really disconnect from this person... They're going to start doing a lot of introspecting, a lot of soul searching. Yeah, they're, yeah, what about the Ten of Wands? The Seven of Swords and the Unawakened card. Um, If they didn't, weren't awakened before. Yeah, this person's been hiding their feelings and emotions for you. But they're about to express them with the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, somebody's about to come in and express their feelings and emotions to you. Yep, look at this. The, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Somebody's about to tell you that they love you and that they want to be with you. They want to be a family with you. And it looks like it's going to be quite soon. Knight of Swords. Yeah. So they're having a, a lot of... It's like you're making the decision to walk away from this person. You're walking away from the conflict. You don't want anything to do with this anymore. Um... Or some of you guys are really conflicted about whether or not you wanted to walk away from them. I see you. It's like you make that decision to do that. And then boom, this person like, I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen. Things are actually about to start moving very quickly in this connection. Like, But it's like for those of you that are walking away from this person, look. For those that are walking away or about to walk away from them, it's like once you do that, and I'm not telling you to walk away from this person so that they can do this. You need to be walking away from this person because you know you deserve better. You're fed up. Like, it, the, the intent of walking away from this person is what will determine the outcome, okay? If you're walking away from this person to get a reaction out of them, then you're probably not going to get the uh, outcome that you want. But if you're walking away, you're choosing yourself and you're wanting better for yourself. Um, then I feel like that's when you'll get this. This is what's going to happen here. But we have the, a fresh start. This new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith. Yeah, in the process, which in front of you, new beginning and new possibilities. The leap of faith is you guys walking away from this person. Because some of you guys want to be with this person still, but you just feel like they're not ready to be with you. So, but it's been hard for you to walk away from them too at the same time. So I feel like you walking away from them is going to kind of give them that boost. It's going to make them start realizing some things like, yeah, what we'll keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Generosity, windfall, and trade off. Tell me more. We have helpful change. Yeah, you will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it most. Assistance, ease, and facilitating. Yeah, risk and crystal clear. Love that involves great risk. Taking chance. See, this is more a leap of faith energy. It's time to see your life in its limitless potential without seeing through rose-tinted glasses. Clarity, certainty, and truth. Good gossip. Somebody's seeing you in a positive light or something like that. Your reputation is very good at this time or you're being talked about in a positive way. That's what I was saying. We have reputation, image, and well-known. Tell me more. 
silly games, okay? And we have heart and key, playing it cool to win. Somebody's pretending like they don't feel like you're their perfect match or something like that, or you're pretending that you don't think this, like this person's like, what is this? Somebody is like learning to be vulnerable here or something like that. What is this about? Creative, yeah, keeping more of an open mind, being more expressive. Somebody is like, yeah, what about four choices? Reunion, ooh, four choices and reunion, small steps. What is it with four choices and reunion? bad games don't want anything serious so spirit is it says think again before making any decisions at this time caution is needed there's a hidden problem warning reconsider and no so what what do they need to know in the present moment is it has this already happened what do they need to know in the present moment about when it comes like when it comes to this connection Somebody is still resisting change or something. Avoiding, not now, scared, boundaries. Or maybe they're telling you that you need to set boundaries. Escaping, rejecting, not interested, the cold shoulder. So click, tell me more about running. Hidden secrets. Yes, this way like somebody is still not wanting to. They're wearing a facade or something. They're not telling you the truth. They're not. This person's not showing you how they really feel about you. It's like they're not ready to fully surrender to this connection. It says, careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts. Act with discernment. Unseen, sly approach, and careful. So what do they need to do? What do they need to do, spirit? Yeah, imbalance. But there is an unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. What do they need to do here? Apology. What do they need to do here? They're telling you to choose yourself. Somebody may be telling you they want to put in the effort, but... It says it's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know. Free, detached, and uncommitted. You may get an apology from somebody. They may want to like go on a date with you or they may want to see you or something like that. But what do they need to know about this? It's like there's something that's not right here. Your time is now for what? Partnership. Your time is now in partnership. Feeling deeply. What? How are we getting to that point? How are we getting to the feeling deeply partnership and your time is now? What about the message? What type of message? Small steps. Some of you, okay, in small steps in what way? Timing. The situation can't be forced. It's like they're saying it, but what does it say? You're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. What are they meant to do in this situation right now? What are they meant to do here? You may not feel that much is happening. However, the path you're on is now is leading you to something great. I don't know. Oh, did I just see ghosting? Oh, foreigner. It says leaving. So they're wanting you to, to get out of your comfort zone. It says they want you to leave all that is familiar. Differences, stranger, exotic, unfamiliar, estranged, overseas, visitor, unconnected, and different. They're telling you it's time to do something different. Let's see. What do they need to do? Ascension. Okay. What is it that you're guiding them to do in this at this moment when it comes to this person? I see them trying to like say they want to work on things, but what do they need to do in regards to this person right now? Look. Cut out. It's best to part ways to heal. Severing ties, endings, moved on, abandonment, calling it quits, closed chapter, and walked away. So, or walk away. So that's what they're telling you to do. I see somebody coming towards you saying they want to work on things, but I don't think this person is taking things very seriously because we did have uh, silly games. So they may be saying they want to work on things, but they're not being very serious. And Spirit is saying that they still have a lot of healing to do. Maybe you do as well. And it's best that you guys part ways for right now. But you guys parting ways is actually leading to like marriage. I don't know if it's between the two of you, but... It's like, I see you in this person parting ways, or it's almost like, I feel like you're choosing to walk away from them because they're the ones, they're the one that's coming towards you and talking about, look, let's work on things. And you're like, I, I think I'd rather not right now. I don't, I don't think you're ready or something like that. And it's like, you're cutting this person off. They're having a wake up call here, or they're awakening to something here. Cause we have cut out in marriage. Some of you guys are going to maybe meet somebody new. What, how are we getting to marriage? What about marriage? 
protection. They keep telling you that this connection is protected. Like, it's okay to walk away from them if they're not ready. And actually, walking away from them is what you're... And they're telling you you need to protect yourself from this person right now. How are we getting to marriage? Because wedding bells are ringing. Yeah, ascending. Starting a new chapter in love. Learning new phase in love. Transcending obstacles. Preparing for union. So, you, the separation, it's like you're going to be preparing for union and separation, and they are as well. Ascending. Okay, one more. And then we have spiritual tests. Yeah. You're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts so you may grow and evolve spiritually. Inner work. So, I see that it's necessary for you and this person to part ways so that they can do some inner work and maybe you can do some inner work as well. Okay, let's see. What was that? Yeah, so that it's like ascension, moving things to the next level. It's something about needing to leave your comfort zone. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change. Didn't I say things are about to speed up? So there's something about you guys. What is the comfort zone for them? What is the comfort zone that they need to leave behind to, to for things to go to the next level? It says there's an upcoming, they're, they're urging you to embark on some type of new journey. But what is like, what is the comfort zone that they're needing to leave? Sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences. Yeah, it's like they're, they're urging you to go down a different path. A blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very happy. Cleverness. Carefully craft your next move to use the problem to your advantage. I was literally going to say earlier that you guys may think what the problem, the, what you think is the problem is actually the solution. Because you and this person need to pause and reflect. Be mindful of your self-talk and solve your problems with the fullest mental clarity. For some of you, you guys have a hard time being um, single or apart. Just maybe it's hard for you to be apart from this person. Um, or some of you guys, it's uncomfortable for you to be single and just sit with yourself. Okay. Um, but they're wanting you to do that. Give me one more card. We have heartbreak. Pain is essential for growth. Painful ending, breakup, suffering, grieving, depression, unable to move on, and misfortune. I said one more and then that one comes out. What's up with heartbreak? Wish granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in your manifestation process. Miracles, good luck, and prayers. exploring some of you guys was getting outside of your comfort zone is you guys putting yourselves out there again and dating yeah outside interference open relationship casual dating no commitment unfaithful third party rise and fall time to get off the ride somebody keeps putting you in a third party situation and Maybe this is just something that you've been doing. You've been in this situation for, with this person for a long time. Even if you weren't like knowingly engaging in a third party situation, whatever this dynamic is between you and this person, it has become like a norm and you just keep your feet in the same thing over and over again. So spirit is like saying that they want you to break the cycle. And to break the cycle, it's going to feel uncomfortable because maybe you're used to having this person around or it's like i don't know it's something about like you needing you needing to leave their comfort zone leave your comfort zone and they them also needed to do the same thing 